The title of the movie is No One Will Save You and it literally says a lot about the movie and also about the ending. This almost wordless movie is a kind of a movie which I feel will not make a lot of buzz at the start but over time it will be applauded for the path that they take in the story since it is almost a wordless movie a lot of emphasis was given on the overall sound design visual storytelling and most importantly the acting and I have to say it has a kind of a depressing yet satisfying end we'll talk about that in the later half of the video so first we'll just do a quick review of the movie and then i'll explain the entire movie and specifically how depressingly satisfying the end was for me so the story follows the life of a young girl who seems to have a lot of anxiety the town she lives in almost hates her for a dark past and she has created a life of her own coping for the past she has created a kind of a bubble for herself but what that dark past is i won't tell you you have to find out on your own while you watch the movie because that is also one of the most interesting thing of the movie now one fine night she is peacefully sleeping at her home but suddenly her home is invaded by aliens by the way not only her home but the entire town has been invaded so what she does to get away and how does she does what she does to get away is what you will see in the movie and it is very interesting with some beautiful storytelling elements in it so i noticed one thing about this movie which i've really admired throughout the movie was the use of the camera i'll give you an example so when you are watching a horror movie or a movie in which some horrific scene is happening almost every time we first see the reaction of the actor like this and then suddenly we are cut to what that actor is actually looking at by which he is getting that horrified but here it was not done suppose i am seeing at something horrific here and my reaction is like this but what you as an audience will see is what this camera is showing you only the close up of my face not the actual thing that i am looking at and that i felt was really good so that the director is kind of saying okay you have to do the guessing game i won't show you exactly what she saw but you have to guess it by her expressions and as an audience it kind of made you very anxious about what actually she is seeing and what horrific visual that must be another thing which i really liked about was how the director was able to create an environment which was kind of haunting in nature kind of airy and and had a survival atmosphere overall but it makes you constantly think about the entire story what will going to happen at the end because the name of the movie suggests that there is no one to save you so how does that imply here and a million other thoughts as well plus as i said the movie makes you think it makes you use your brain it doesn't explain things right away all the mystery about her past about why does she live alone far away from everyone these secrets are revealed slowly and patiently throughout the movie as if the director is saying hold on buddy find your own answers employ yourself get invested and this is where i felt the story itself was written beautifully and the direction and the acting did a decent job to support the writing now there are a couple of scenes in this movie in which you will be treated with some good visuals now one scene in particular was very nicely done and i won't talk about that now we'll talk about that in the, in the later half of this video because it's a big spoiler and also a couple of scenes in which you will think what the heck just happened but somewhere down the line all these good things actually makes you a bit devastated in a bad way actually the constantly lingering questions just pile up to a point where you actually get a bit frustrated now i think this bit right here is totally subjective i mean all the reviews of movies are subjective but still this specific bit is i feel is very subjective because it was devastating for me but it would be a very fruitful experience for you now to conclude i feel it's a good movie gripping mysterious story with a twisted end good direction good writing a very good acting performance too not a long movie only only one and a half hours but it feels a bit long due to all the mysterious and horror kind of environment created as well and the end i can't emphasize enough on the ending of this movie all right now we'll discuss about the ending so this is just spoiler warning now look right from the start of the movie we have been told not directly but through visuals that the girl brian is actually living alone secluded from all the environment outside and it feels like she is very anxiety driven kid as well that she can't right away go and talk to people and there is some very dark past about that mod girl as well so that is done beautifully for you to you know enhance the entire story that will get afterwards and this grief and her dark story will actually inspire the aliens to do what they did at the end but what actually happens at the end now first of all the aliens were very impressed about how brian was the only one who had not been captured by the aliens otherwise everyone on that town was already captured or were under the influence of that alien and she in fact got that bowl on her mouth and she removed that as well so the aliens were pretty impressed that's why they sent actually a clone of her to kill her but, but you know what happened there so 
at the very end when they were a finally able to capture her they obviously went through her history they obviously went through her past the dark past and they were even more impressed because they know how the entire community actually hated her and secluded her away and how she created her own bubble outside everyone so basically the aliens felt very sorry about her and they thought let's spare her and let her live her own life along with all these people which are obviously are under the influence of aliens so at the end we see that she can go into the public she even waves at people and these people wave back to her but we can clearly see that they are under the influence of aliens then she has a dance with them she has a good time but as the camera pans out we can see that the ufos are surrounding the town so at the end basically what happened it was devastating that the aliens have fallen but it was satisfying for brian that she actually got to live a life of her own surrounded by people so that's why i said it is a devastatingly satisfying end to this movie so those were all my thoughts please tell me in the comments what were your thoughts about this movie and i would highly recommend that thank you so much for watching